Hey guys, it's me, Miss Norris, and today I'd like to share a fun read aloud with you of the story, Our Class is a Family. Our Class is a Family was written in 2020 by Shannon Olson and was illustrated by Sandy Sonk, and it tells the story of how a family isn't always just the people you're related to. It can also mean the people that you love and care about, and that's what Our Class is. If you're ready to hear the story, I'm ready to share it with you. Here we go. Our class is a family. I'll give you a little close up. You can see all the kids in this class. And they look happy and they're taking care of each other. Our class is a family. When you think of a family, you might picture one in a house. A mom, a dad, a couple of kids, plus their dogs, and a pet mouse. So you have a little home. When you think of a family, you think of a home. And you might think of a mom and a dad and maybe a brother or a sister. And even your pets. Even a pet mouse. Perhaps you think of grandma or a stepmom and stepdad. It could be those 14 cousins or that twin who makes you mad. So families aren't just moms and dads. They could be your grandma or a stepmom or a stepdad or cousins or even a twin that sometimes makes you mad. But Family doesn't have to be who you're related to. It can be another special group who love and care for you. It says class garden, and it's starting to sound like maybe your, your class might be another place that could be your family, like the title. Have you ever thought about where most of your time is spent? It's at school with all of us. That's where all those hours went. So you do spend a lot of time at school. This class looks like they made some robots and they're drawing together and reading together. I know I spend a lot of time at school, but I get to spend time with all of you. So if our classroom is the place where we spend our days, why wouldn't we want to make it like a home in many ways? So they have a class pet and a, a, a home sweet classroom. And they're suggesting that if you spend so much of your time at school, maybe you can make it more like your home. It's a place where we can show respect and kindness to each other a spot where we can be ourselves and make memories with one another. So it's true, we can be ourselves and show kindness and make lots of good memories together. <clears throat> we'll have things in common. These are connections that we'll seek, but we'll still celebrate our differences and what makes, each, makes us each unique. So here, these two boys are sharing that they have the same shirt and these two girls are celebrating what makes them unique or different and special to themselves. One likes to do art, one likes to play soccer, and you can like different things and still be friends. Our classroom is a special haven where it's okay to make mistakes. We learn from them and try again, no matter what it takes. So a classroom is a place where you can make mistakes and it's okay. Does nine plus six equal 16? No, but you can learn from that mistake and try it a different way and get, it, get better for next time. We'll all have tough days sometimes, but your teacher is here for you. And as long as you're a friend to others, your peers will be there too. So sometimes you're just, you just have a bad day. You get upset, but your teacher, your teacher is always going to be there for you. And if you're kind to your classmates, 
they'll be there for you too. This one got hurt, but this one is bringing her a Band-Aid, which is a kind thing to do when you're hurt. <clears throat> In this classroom of four walls, we will stick together. We'll help each other learn and grow in any kind of weather. So you can see we're learning together in the winter and in the fall and in the spring and in the summer. Every season we can learn together and stick together. So let's always remember what a great team we can be. You have our back and we have yours. We're a classroom family. So we help each other be shining stars and succeed. The end. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed the story, Our Class is a Family, I hope you hit that thumbs up button at the bottom of the page. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot to me. If you're not a subscriber yet, please hit that subscribe button down here at the bottom of the page. And don't forget to click the bell so that you're notified when there's new content. I hope to see you all again real soon. Bye-bye.